everyone, this is Celine from Tokyo Weekender and welcome to our soft cream journey. In this series, we partner with the Japanese soft cream maker Nisei to show you some of the great sides of Japan and the soft cream that you can taste only in that area. So get ready. But first, let me ask you this. Do you know the difference between soft cream and ice cream? Ice cream can be bought anywhere, taken home and kept in the freezer. But soft cream, it's all about being in that moment. So if you don't eat it right away, then it's just going to melt in your hand because it's very fresh, milky and smooth. And soft cream in Japan is everywhere. So for this video, we decided to come to Kanagawa. And Kanagawa is known for having great beaches. As you can see, I don't have to tell you. Uh, but today we will show you some other famous sightseeing spots as well. And we will taste a soft cream with white bait topping. Yes, you heard me right. I said white bait, or shirasu as it is called in Japanese. So let's go and see how that one tastes like. Today we have come to Mugei, a soap making class, to make some Inoshima themed beautiful soaps. The steps of making the soap were very simple. First, we mixed olive oil, coconut oil, and palm oil. Then, we blended it with caustic soda and purified water. After stirring these ingredients, we put it into a mold to create our original soap. We were able to choose the scent of the soap from many options. The coloring process needed some concentration, since I had to pour several different colors in a mold in a specific order that I chose. I used three different gradations of blue with one white color, inspired by the beautiful sea of Enoshima. Then, we used a bamboo skewer to create the design of the soap. This design is called the peacock swirl, since it looks like the feather of a peacock. After keeping the soap warm for a day, we place it in a mold and cut them into smaller portions and dry them out for a month. I can't wait to use it! Lastly, we have moved to Kamakura, and here we are at Tsuroka Hachimanga Shrine. Let's go and take a look. Tsuroka Hachimanga Shrine is one of the most important Shinto shrines in Kamakura. It was founded by Minamoto no Yoriyoshi in 1063 and enlarged and moved to its current site in 1180 by Minamoto no Yoritomo, the first shogun of the Kamakura government. It is the venue of many important festivals and hosts the Tsuroka Museum Kamakura as well. The shrine includes several sub-shrines and some of the significant ones are the main shrine Joku and Wakamiya, which are designated as important cultural properties. There are also great stone stairs where you can overlook the view of Kamakura from the top when it is sunny. When you come to Enoshima, don't forget to visit here, Tobicho Enoshima Benzai Ten Nakamisa Dori Store. Here, you could taste some local seafood and sweets, including a soft cream with white bait topping, or shirasu, as it is called in Japanese. As an island, Having seafood is very common in Japan, and shirasu is the representative type of fish of Enoshima. It's first time for me to try a soft cream with shirasu topping, so let's see how it tastes like. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. It's good. It's salty, but definitely not fishy. And I can also taste the vanilla. So I can say it's a salty sweet combo. Yeah, but it's delicious. Very tasty. Yes, Thank you. So now we got the soft cream with matcha and shiraz topping. Let's see how this one tastes like. Okay, here we go. I'll get a bit shirasu <laughs> matcha as well. Okay. Mmm. Now I can feel the bitterness of matcha, but I like it because I'm a big matcha fan. So I think I would say I prefer this one. Mmm. It's really good. Thank you for checking out today's video. It was a great day in Kanagawa. Very sunny, very beautiful day. I mean, look at this. I had great time. And I think the highlight of today was me trying a soft cream with shoes the topping. It was interesting. And I think the taste was beyond my expectation. So if you're in Japan, if you're visiting Enoshima, I definitely recommend you to try it because I think you should try other than what you usually have if you're visiting here and Shirasu is waiting for you. So I want to know your opinion about Shirasu soft cream and our day in Kanagawa. Let us know in the comments down below. If you want to stay up to date our soft cream adventures across Japan, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified. And finally, a big thanks to Nisei for sponsoring this video and letting me eat many delicious soft creams. Thank you, and I'll see you again.